This is the Senate working to pass the Inflation Reduction Act, which includes major changes in health care and a big investment in green energy. ABC's Mary Alice Parks is on Capitol Hill with more. Mary Alice, good morning. With good morning, senators here debating and voting all through the night. Senate Democrats clearly eager to get this bill to the president's desk as soon as possible. Overnight, Senate Democrats taking a major step forward, now on the verge of passing their historic climate, health care, and tax bill. This is one of the most comprehensive and impactful bills Congress has seen in decades. Vice President Kamala Harris stepping in as a tie-breaking vote to advance the bill. On this vote, the yeas are 50, the nays are 50. The Senate being equally divided, the Vice President votes in the affirmative, and the motion to proceed is agreed to. The legislation would make the single biggest investment in clean energy in the nation's history, allow Medicare to negotiate some prescription drug prices, set a $2,000 annual cap on drug costs for seniors, and lock in a minimum corporate tax rate of 15 percent. Using special Senate budget rules, Democrats can pass the bill with only a simple majority, but they have no votes to spare. This amendment is simple. It expands Medicare to provide dental, vision, and hearing benefits to our seniors. Senator Bernie Sanders offering last minute changes, hoping to expand Medicare benefits, but having no luck. The final deal was the fragile result of months of negotiation among Democrats. The last holdout, Arizona Senator Kirsten Sinema, finally coming on board. With only three months until the midterms, Democrats now rushing to get the bill to the president's desk. Republicans unsuccessfully offering dozens of amendments of their own, united in their opposition to the bill, blasting the corporate tax hikes. Democrats want to run through hundreds of billions of dollars in tax hikes and hundreds of billions of dollars in reckless spending. Now, Senate Democrats I talked to clearly excited about this bill, even though there were big compromises in the end. They say this gives them something to talk to voters about, to point to. Senator Elizabeth Warren told me, of course, she wanted much more in terms of health care and child care funding. But she said it was time for Democrats to book this win. Whip. So that's moving forward. But Mary Alice, while we have you, we heard from the White House that President Biden has tested negative for COVID-19 again. What more are you learning about his condition? Yeah, wait, just moments ago, we saw the president emerging from the White House, ending his isolation after testing negative. He spoke briefly to reporters before boarding Marine One. He's headed back to Delaware to the beach, actually. Remember, this was the president's second stint in isolation after his so-called rebound COVID case. The president's doctor had said that he had been feeling well. He had a cough, but he had been working from the White House residence this entire time. Whip. Mary Alice, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.